hello students welcome to the today's session so in this session i will just uh, teach you uh, to the next uh, colligative property that is the depression of freezing point so today's topic uh, of this session is depression of freezing point so this is also a kind of colligative property and as you already learned that colligative properties are those properties which depends on the number of particles and they do, does not depend the, they do not depend on the nature of the particle okay so in this series we have discussed two colligative property the first one was relative relative lowering of vapor pressure second one uh, was elevation of boiling point and this is the third one depression of freezing point so first of all you have to know the meaning of freezing point freezing point is the uh the temperature at which any liquid uh just convert into the solid state and uh if you will go through uh go de- go in detail that freezing point or the freezing start when the vapor pressure of the liquid uh become equal to the vapor pressure of the solid solid state then only the freezing will occur okay so uh why there is the depletion of the freezing point because Uh, as you already uh, just uh, go through the topic that as you have added uh, any non volatile solute then what happens the number of vapors decreases and the vapor pressure of the solution become lesser than the vapor pressure of the sol pure solvent that is why the vapor pressure of overall solution is lesser than the vapor pressure of the sol uh, solvent okay so what uh, we will discuss before discussing the t- uh, topic uh, you must have gone through the one activity which i i will show you okay so just go through that activity and after that we will discuss it so students now i am going to show the activity of the depression freezing point of the solution when you add any solid solute to the water to make it solution so i have taken uh, an ice tray uh, two glasses of water in which uh, it is having the pure water means pure solvent and it is having water with some amount of sugar so uh, i have dissolved a lot of sugar in it and some of sugar crystals are here to make it saturated solution okay so what i am i will do i will just uh, pour these two kind of the liquid into the different layers of the ice tray and after that i will place it into the freezer for some time and after some time i will see uh, what changes occur in the free, in the freezing process of these two kind of the liquids so first of all uh, in the first layer i am going to pour the pure solvent means it is the water only it is not having any kind of solid solute so it is a simple activity uh, without taking without uh, taking any kind of the special apparatus it is it can be it can be done at home only now this is the saturated solution of sugar so now after settling of the crystals i will pour this solution into the tray okay one by one all the all the chambers will be filled okay so this layer is of pure solvent and this layer is of the sugar solution so for our remembrance i will mark it with a permanent marker with the help of this red mark this red red mark indicates that this layer is of the sugar solution and this layer is of the pure solvent okay now i will keep it in uh, my refrigerator and see let's see what what is what will happen after some time now students approximately 1 hour have been passed and now i am going to show you that what happened to these two different layers so uh, as already i have marked here this layer this layer is of solution and this layer is of pure solvent means water so let's see the surface is hard it means the ice the ice has been formed means this 
solvent this pure solvent which is the pure liquid is just freezes and when I just put this straw to the solution sugar solution then just I am saying it is completely dipped it means it means it is it has not been freezes it is not freeze okay so it indicates that the freezing point of sugar solution is just a little bit less than the freezing point of the pure solvent so this is the solvent yes you can see the crystals have been formed yeah, and this activity can be done in your home also you can do it at your home also okay so this you can see it is completely dipped some crystallization is is going on here but because of depression in freezing point because of depression in freezing point the sugar solution is having the low freezing point and the seat the crystals have been formed okay so what information we are just gathering from this activity that uh, this uh, solution sugar solution is having the non volatile solute that is sugar and because of this the uh, the vapor pressure of the solution decreases uh, in comparison to the vapor pressure of pure solvent and because of this uh, lower vapor pressure until and unless the vapor pressure of this solution will not equal to the frozen solvent this solution cannot be freeze so because sol solid solute uh, they, uh, they do not produce the vapors therefore overall number of vapors decreases in the solution and because of this reason only there is a depression in the freezing point so when you add any non volatile, volatile solute to the solvent either it is sugar or, or salt and or, or anything which is non volatile there is a decrease in the freezing point so it uh, the decrease in the freezing point is not very very much it is uh, lesser than one degree celsius but that freezing point decreases as you add any uh, solid uh, salt which is a solid molecule which is non-volatile okay thank Welcome you back. i think you all uh, must have understood about the concept of depression of freezing point so just go through it in detail so in your ncrt it is also mentioned here the lowering of vapor pressure of solution causes a lowering of freezing point compared to the pure solvent which i have already told you about it so what this happened uh, and before that again one point is written here which already i have told you that the freezing point of a substance the solid uh, phase is in equi dynamic equilibrium with a liquid phase and the freezing point of substance may be defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of substance in its liquid phase is equal to the vapor pressure in the solid phase so uh, this is the point which i have already told you in the beginning of the session because the vapor pressure when the vapor pressure of this liquid become equal to the vapor pressure of solid phase then only the freezing of that liquid will occur okay so this is the diagram with the help of this diagram you can you can very clearly understand that the, uh, at the y axis there is a vapor pressure at the, and at the x axis there is a temperature and this is the curve of the vapor pressure of liquid solvent when you are decreasing the temperature the vapor pressure of liquid solvent decreases okay and this point this is the point where the liquid convert into the solid means this is the freezing point of the pure solvent and this is written as tf0 or tf0 whatever you want to write or say okay so as the, the, this liquid convert into the solid the vapor pressure suddenly drops because uh, the solid in the case of solid state the number of vapors will be less that is why when it becomes solidify when it solidify the vapor pressure of the frozen solvent is a little bit less and it just suddenly drops so this is the curve of the frozen solvent okay so this is the curve of the frozen solvent and the next line is of solution because as you know as you add the non volatile solute to the solvent to form a solution the vapor pressure of uh, that particular solution is always lesser than the pure solvent at a particular temperature for example uh, at this temperature for example at this temperature the vapor pressure of liquid solvent is approximately like this 
and in the case of solution like this so the vapor pressure of pure solvent is greater than the vapor pressure of solution okay so uh, the, this curve of the solution is at the lower uh, place of this a uh, little lower than the liquid solvent so as the temperature decreases the vapor pressure of solution also decreases but until and unless this graph will not touch the graph of the frozen solvent this solution cannot be freeze okay so uh, according to this curve when you extrapolate this curve and when it touches uh, the frozen solvent curve then only the solution get freeze so when it uh, just at this point this curve of solution touches the frozen solvent curve so this is the point where the solution get freeze okay so uh, uh, just look at the temperature what is the temperature so this is tf is the temperature where the uh, which is the freezing point of the solution and it is lower than the tf not or tf zero which was the freezing point of pure solvent so this is the decrease in temperature which is written as delta tf so this delta tf is the change in the uh, freezing point or you can you can say it is the uh, just dip decrease in the freezing point of the solution which is termed as depression of freezing point so why this is happening because in the case of solution the vapor pressure decreases and until and unless the vapor pressure of this solution will not touch the uh, graph of the frozen solvent it will not freeze okay so all this concept is written here and there is a derivation again the, the, the delta tf is equal to tf not minus tf because tf is the tf not is the temperature of the freezing point of the pure solvent which is great which is greater than the tf tf is the freezing point of solution so this is delta tf it is a depression in freezing point and again it depends on the amount of the uh, solute added for example which in uh, what uh, i have shown you in the activity if the amount of sugar is high then again the the, the depression freezing point will be high okay so according to the concept of colligative property this is also depending on the uh, mass or you can say the content of the the number of the particles of the solute so delta tf is directly proportional to the molarity sorry molality this is the molality okay and we, when you just remove this proportionality sign this kf will be introduced here what is this kf kf is the molar depression constant or it is the freezing point depression constant it is the freezing point depression constant or the cryoscopic constant so this may be the one mark question in the board examination what does it mean and it is written by kf and this kf is uh, the kf the unit of kf is kilogram sorry kelvin kilogram per mole and this kf is different for different solvent okay because it it is the it depend on the nature of the solvent only kf kf is depending on the nature of the uh, solvent so this is basically this is this is the main formula delta tf is equal to kf into m where delta tf is the change in uh, freezing point or you can say depression in the freezing point and this delta tf is equal to delta tf is equal to tf not minus tf where kf is the uh, molar depression constant or the freezing point depression constant or the cryoscopic constant and m is the molality again the next one is the molality what is molality then molality is the number of moles of solute means n2 upon weight of solvent in kilogram and if it is in gram then what you have to do it should be multiplied by 1000 if it is in gram so what is n2 n2 is the number of moles of solute therefore it is w2 by m2 w2 means the given mass of solute upon molar mass of the solute so after placing this value w2 into 1000 divided by m2 into w1 so this is the overall formula uh, which is uh, written here uh, when you place this value of m in the formula of delta tf the delta tf become equal to kf into w2 upon m2 upon w1 into, uh, upon 1000 overall delta tf the delta tf is kf into w2 into 1000 upon m2 into w1 which i have already derived here it is the value of small m but which is the molality okay so with the help of this formula again in this quality property you uh, are just observing that the molar mass is at the denominator means 
colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass okay so with the help of this equation you can either calculate the molar mass of the solute or delta tf or w2 or w1 whatever the question is asking about with the help of all these values you can calculate this okay but what is kf and kb they are actually kf is the cryoscopic constant and kb is the ebullioscopic constant and these values are fixed for the solvent but with the help of these two formula these two formula you can just calculate the kb and kf also but there is no need to learn all this formula because the kf and kb value will be given in the board examination or the question paper okay so basically here what uh, what the terms are kf uh, rhyoscopic constant r is the gas constant m1 is the molar mass of the so uh, solvent tf is the uh, just freezing point of the solvent then delta h fusion this is the uh, uh, enthalpy change of uh, fusion uh, similarly tb is the boiling point of solvent delta h vaporization is the enthalpy change of vaporization so this is the depression of freezing point and just we will discuss the example solved example here so the first, the example number 2.9 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 gram of water calculate the freezing point depression and the freezing point of the solution so first of all what values are given here so the ethylene glycol and water so this is solute this is solute and water is the it is a solvent so first you have to identify which is solute and which is solvent and these are the given masses so this is w2 and this is w1 okay so this is w2 and this is w1 and with the help of uh, these formula you can derive uh, m2 and m1 also whatever uh, is, is needed in the formula and the question is calculate the freezing point depletion means you have to calculate the delta tf delta tf okay so kf will be given in the question okay in this question it is not given but it is already given uh, whenever the question will be asked in the future and with the help of the formula of molality molality is number of moles number of moles upon weight of solvent so weight of solvent is 600 gram which is in kilogram 0.6 kilogram and number of mole moles of ethylene glycol is equal to number of mole is equal to given mass which is of 45 gram and molar mass of the ethylene glycol by the help of formula you can calculate it is 62 so 0 0.73 0 0.73 is the number of moles of ethylene glycol and 0 0.60 is the uh, is the given um, weight of the solvent okay so with the help of this you can calculate a small m and by keeping this small m value into delta tf formula of delta tf delta tf is equal to kf into m so with the help of this you can calculate it it is 2.2 kelvin so this is the depression of freezing point okay and then next part of uh, this question is the freezing point of the solution what is the freezing point of solution so delta tf which you have just seen here delta tf is equal to tf not minus tf where tf not is the freezing point of pure solvent and tf is the freezing point of the solution so you have calculated the value of delta tf so delta tf is equal to tf naught minus tf so delta tf is equal to 2.2 is equal to tf naught uh, 273.15 because the solvent is pure water and the freezing point of pure water is either 0 degrees celsius or 273.15 kelvin and minus tf you have to calculate so tf just by shifting tf to the left hand side and uh, delta tf to the right hand side tf not minus delta tf is equal to t so this is the freezing point of solution okay so overall 2.2 kelvin is the temperature which is lesser than the freezing point of pure solvent pure solvent is freezing at this temperature 273.15 kelvin and the solution of ethylene glycol in water is freezing at this temperature so you can see that there is a decrease of 2.2 kelvin or 2.2 degree celsius because difference in the difference the value will be same only the unit will change either it is degree celsius or it is kelvin okay so ne next example 2.10 one gram of non electrolyte solution dissolved in 50 gram of benzene lowered the freezing point of benzene by this so this is delta tf okay delta tf is given here and this is the solute it is w2 it is w1 so all the values are given and the freezing point depression constant of benzene is this it is kf find the molar mass of the solute 
so uh, if i uh, just putting all the value into the formula of m2 this is the formula of m2 and which can be de derived with the help of this formula so m2 is equal to kf which is given in the question w2 it is the weight of given mass of uh, the solute 1000 delta tf is also given w1 is the given mass of the solute so with the help of all these values that m2 is 256 gram per moles so this is uh, the uh, example number 2.10 so all the examples and the index question are very simple it is not very difficult so okay so next qualitative property will be discussed in the next video okay thank you if you like this uh, explanation or this video so please like share and subscribe on, on thank you